friends we are starting now is a today is 155th friday group meeting the speaker is our beloved senior advocate former judge and former chief justice of uh, jharkhand 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 high court he addressed our several uh, friday group meetings 100 he addressed 150 at also he was a uh, chief guest uh, not chief guest exactly he was uh, also one of the speaker so today's topic is Excise of power under Article 142 of the Constitution of India by Honorable Supreme Court in criminal jurisdiction. Sir, now without wasting our time okay. by one by one introduction, okay. so it's almost 11th or 12th time, sir, is addressing. <coughs> so please, one second, one second, sir. I'll stand then. Yeah. Okay. If I don't. My humble pranams to the lotus feet of Bhagavan. My humble salutation to this august audience. Today's topic is exercise the power under Article 142 of the Constitution of India by the Supreme Court in regard to the criminal jurisdiction. The 142 is a special feature. Even though inherent power is vested with the civil court under section 151 CRPC, CPC and the 482 of CRPC by the High Court, but special power has been given to only to Supreme Court. That is Article 142. I have collected so many judgments, 25 judgments dealing with the 142 powers by, this, by the criminal jurisdiction as well as 25 judgments I have collected. I have, I will hand out over all the 25 judgments, list of copies and all to Mr. Seshwari Rao so that all the people can get it that will be useful to you. All that 25 is given. And uh, in fact, uh, I want to select some judgments my Lord, related to the criminal jurisdiction alone. Out of 25, I select, I choose to deal with the three cases. First case, Antule, this is Noyak, R.S. Noyak. First case. That is uh, first case actually is very quite interesting. <coughs> the judgment rendered by the seven judges. Antule is a former chief minister of Maharashtra. One Noyak, the complainant, filed a complaint against chief minister to book a case against him because of corruption charges. But there nobody was. Uh, ready to register the case. So he came to Supreme Court and uh, asked for a direction to the governor to grant sanction against the chief minister. There is a special court constituted for dealing with the corruption charges against public servant. Now ultimately, the case was uh, handed over to the special court. And uh, ultimately, the on the basis of the complaint the petition filed by Nayak, the Supreme Court, five judges bench, you should not be allowed to try the case by special court because it's a chief minister. There may be influence, so it must be referred to the High Court for trial. This is a very important position where High Court conducts trial. When High Court, after filing charge sheet, High Court finds it to frame charges, there is some difficulty. Whether charges could be framed by the High Court. Then the matter came and the five judges bench and all to transfer to uh, High Court. That was question. So, matter were referred to seven judge. See that. Supreme Court judgments have been set aside by the Supreme Court itself. 
नंबर ओनली डिफरेंट फाइव इज बिगर और सेवन इज बिगर सेवन इज बिगर देर इज नो नेटी फॉर गिविंग आंसर फॉर विच इज क्वेश्चन विच इज पावरफुल एंड ऑल इज ओनली वी कैन आंसर सेवन Seven says you cannot. Uh, that, that is uh, the seventh. Seventh judge mentioned that until his application, they say if you face charges before the trial court, you can file an appeal before the high court. If a high court is uh, taking up the matter and giving conviction, you cannot file appeal in the high court. So one. opportunity last so that is a very beautiful uh sarotation difference and the seventh judge which says says we will not allow you to last lose opportunity for any party so it must be go to the trial court and the trial court help shall decide the matter and then i go the seventh judge will judge all this is 1988 Volume two, SCC six not two. Is it correct? Absolutely. The Antony case. Usually, once you become a chief minister, you cannot accept from the charge of corruption. If you are not able to corrupt matter and all, you are you are not fit to be a chief minister. All the chief some chief minister unnoticed escape. Some chief minister correctly can be correct can be. But at least they lose the reputation from the public. They are told. This is very important judgment where five judges' judgments set aside wrong. Say say five judges' judgments wrong. That has been set aside by the seven judges. One forty two the criminal case. This is a corruption case. And they say seven judges should not lose opportunity even for accused. Actually, the next case is SCBA. सुप्रीम कोर्ट बार एसोसिएशन एस यूनियन ऑफ इंडिया दिस ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट केस देर इज वन एडवोकेट कॉल्ड विनय चंद्र मिश्रा इज अफ मॉगर इन एवरी हाई कोर्ट देर इज अ पीपल यू विल थ्रेटन बुलिंग ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर गेट एन ऑर्डर वेन यू आर्ग इज अ मैटर बी फॉर सुप्रीम कोर्ट Supreme Court initiated contempt against him. Contempt for misbehaving, all these things and all. He bullying all these things. And uh, ultimately, punishment has been given by the bench. I think that is a three ju- three judges bench, two two judges bench giving a punishment. He is to punish for sentence. Contempt of court, sentence is there. Sentence of imprisonment is there. But at the bottom, that he says he will just he is uh, um, the threatening the judges. He is not behaving in the court. So the Supreme Court decided to remove the role from the practice. That is two judges. Then subsequently, the SCBA Bar Association took up the matter and filed a. petition to set aside the order that is judges uh, five judges bench five judges decided very important five judges you can give a punishment for contempt you can refer to the bar council for taking action but what is the action to be taken by the bar council you cannot usurp the power bar council separate and the bar council alone will have to take uh, powers so that power cannot be taken away by the supreme court any court or so that is how that matter has been sent that referred to the uh, bar council ultimately he was punished for something about the second case 1998 volume 2 four volume 4 scc 409 1998 volume 4 SCC 409. This is called uh, SCBA versus Union of India. Second case. This is also important uh, provision. 
which deals with the how to how to prevent the man on this basis one matter came before me when i was chief justice his name is lk ja not our ja <laughs> he is lk ja he always uh, threatened all the judges even he threatened the bar also when he was chief justice he threatened us also then he filed a suit suit was dismissed and instead of filing a appeal against suit he filed a writ petition before the high court seeking for a direction to the governor to give sanction for prosecuting that particular judge who has dismissed this suit <laughs> he could file appeal against suit he has filed an application for seeking a writ petition seeking for direction to the governor we give grant grant sanction mm. against him the matter came before the writ court then he said how can you ask for this permission no 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 you tell you not or she got a notice we will see that then the judge came to me in my chamber so this is a difficulty how i could so you deal with that if you find difficulty and all you refer to the fuller bench we will take care of then he said uh, when the matter came he asked him to apology he said no apology i have seen so many courts i know how to deal with you he threatened the judge also just as prabhat gohli said that and uh, in fact he is pass an order saying that Uh, he is very adamant in saying i will not uh, apologize at all so refer to the uh, chief justice for a appropriate bench then i have put uh, five judges under me justice ibbal justice sir all the five judges are all the four judges are afraid of him because he knows uh, how to deal with them uh, milord milord say milord maybe refer to some other bench he <laughs> said No, no. We will deal with that, uh, Mr. Raja. You are a senior man. You are. You have to be an example for the youngsters. Youngsters seeing you, they should not follow your method. Please go to the other bench. That is referred to that. <coughs> Apologies before him because he felt hurt. Yes, my lord. Then matter was posted uh, before Justice Kohli. Then he apologizes, record it, and further refer to me, refer to the five judges. Then um, argued the matter, Mr. Um, uh, ja. Not only you have uh, apologized, not enough in the high court. Go to the trial court. He is the man who is uh, victim now. You ask me for a, he got the money and uh, dismissed the suit. So prosecution against him. So go. Uh, And the appellate, uh, no milord. Then adjourn the matter. Without he go, without his permission, his client went to the trial court and uh, tender an apology. It is a very insult to the lawyer. Contempt is only against him only. So lawyer, uh, lawyer came, Mr. Lawyer, your client has gone for apology. What do you say? I won't apologize. then i passed the order three months sentence and uh, we cannot pass an order taking the removing the role from practice but anyway this man is completely uh, just going around and all the courts and all the courts are being threatened so in order to overcome this scba judgment i gave a judgment he can have a practice we are not here to remove the practice from court but he can have a chamber practice not appear in the court appear in the court in in jargon entire jargon don't appear then on the right he was sitting tarna uh, before the jargon i go without taking food and all then i went uh, all the judges went and there 
ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ 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 ಅಲೌ ಯುವರ್ ಸ್ಟಮಕ್ ಹರ್ಟ್ ಅಲೌ ಯುವರ್ ಹರ್ಟ್ ಅಲೌ ಯುವರ್ ಫುಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಇದು ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಪಾಸ್ ಅನ್ ಆರ್ಡರ್ ಹಿ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಹಿ ಕೇಮ್ ಟು ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಐ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ಸೆಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಮಂತ್ಸ್ ಇಂಪ್ರೆಸ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅಲೌಯಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಟು ಡು ಸಮ್ ಕ್ಯಾಮರ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟೀಸ್ ಅಲೋನ್ ನಾಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಡ್ ಸೊ ಫಾರ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟೇ ಹಿ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಟು ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಸುಪ್ರೀಂ ಕೋರ್ಟ್ ಡಿಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗ್ರಾಂಟ್ ಸೇ ultimately supreme court dismissed his application he did not uh, practice then only after uh, uh, coming over here he tendered apology and he was allowed to practice but i think that i is no more what about if he is allowed to st- allowed to leave some more days and so many judgments would have come about the opportunity is lost this is second judgment third judgment is very interesting judgment ashadam temple in gujarat ashadam temple is a famous temple on a particular day about 34 persons entered into the temple and fired at the throw crowd in the fire 34 persons died some people tried 34 died and all the accused persons were tried and uh, some of the persons have been given life sentence and uh, some person are lesser sentence for years or so and uh, again the convicted person they come to supreme court api this is a very important occasion one person five years over lesser sentence impose 5 years over he has not filed an appeal no supreme court final disposal comes supreme court <laughs> ordered acquittal of all the persons who have filed an appeal then comes what about the person who has been convicted 5 years and undergone that period what is it to file an appeal then what then supreme court invoked article 142 and gave the acquittal for this fellow also who has not filed an appeal in order to remove the stigma this is important thing some people convicted not convicted or after conviction he is kept quiet only sentence period will be on what is the use of filing an appeal what is the use of uh, filing appeal through a litigate lot of fees and all lot of time and all why no point ultimate justice that's the reason to complete justice to do complete justice there is a difference between the 142 482 and 151 of cpc very very uh, uh, connotation itself very technical to do complete justice is different from the to secure the ends of justice to secure the ends of justice has got some various restrictions no in order to quashing for quashing the proceedings and various reasons are there quashing proceedings and all famous case first case 482 561a first case kapoor versus state of punjab that is ar 1960 supreme court 866 is a famous judge second case is bajallal case 1992 scc very famous case <coughs> this has been given by uh, justice utravil pandya if you read the 92 supreme court scc you can completely understand so many decisions which has been rendered in what is for you to see question that for you to application how could how could you move is a big question and when i go through the uh, other judgments and all i i was inspired by two judges of supreme court i suggest to you wherever the judgments are there rendered by those judgments please kindly go through that some judges uh, gives a uh, language giving a galaxy of judgment jaggery of words sort of thing it must be going to the ha- heart go to this ordinary man first uh, judges i like man 
is Justice K. T. Thomas. In fact, in one occasion, when I was uh, reading a bench in Madras, I quote, a matter of murder case came. The argued, uh, advocate argued uh, for acquittal because earlier Supreme Court says if a confession statement given leading to recovery, it is not signed by the accused in the confession statement, that's a case for acquittal. That's what the Supreme Court said, Justice Anand and other people. I saw the on the ground the matter was argued, the uh, matter was acquitted in Karnataka, other judges law. It's unfortunate. Even 161 statement and all, no signature and all, leading to recovery, whether article they recovered in pursuance of the confession. Then I contacted this K.T. Thomas. K.T. Thomas, I, as, as a second judge of Madras, I contacted him. He is close to me. I like him most. I got said, this is a judgment on the, on the basis of the on the judgment, so many persons acquitted. No, Mr. Karpona, I am, that's a wrong judgment. How can he say he is retired? Because very same judgments, Anand Jay reviewed the matter, the same bench reviewed the matter, saying that that's not a ground for acquittal. But they found out some other ground to sustain the acquittal. Then in the meantime, Karnataka acquitted, other community acquitted, matter. Then I quoted those judgments, review. I asked the prosecutor to uh, find out a copy. Copy has come. Copy in that case. Your acquittal was set aside, wrong, but on some other ground, acquittal was sustained. On the base of the judgment, <coughs> on the review, difficulty is that review order has not been published by mistake. You understand that? Review order has not been published. Then on the basis, I just I gave a judgment, my bench gave a judgment, and, uh, and uh, just uh, make it sure it has been published in all the journals. That is the reason because we should not do injustice. But this uh, Acharadam temple and all. Acharadam temple is uh, probably 2014. Uh, 2014, volume, uh, volume 7. Uh, the number is 716. Okay. Are you correct? Yes. These are the three judgments of 142 has been invoked so many times. In recent cases, Per Rivalan case, in Tamil Nadu Per Rivalan Rajiv Gandhi convict case has been uh, set aside 142. The central undergone is sufficient. This is not your I gave a very beautiful judgment. He also quoted so many other 142. Per Rivalan case also is very nicely written by Justice Nagi Sarra. These are judgments and all, the three judgments are important. And one more judgment is uh, to be noted. Where a particular man, particular lawyer was been appointed as a CBA special public prosecutor. That's a spectrum case, 2G spectrum case. <coughs> I think 2G spectrum case is uh, 2012. Volume 3, SCC uh, 117, correct? Right? Correct. Serial number? Serial number also? 10, 10, 10. 10, 10, 10, 10. 10, 10. Okay. These are the judgments and all. <coughs> this is very important. There is a 2G spectrum case. Very famous case. And uh, one former minister also has been made as an activist. And in that case, who is to be a CBA special prosecutor? There is special prosecutor, is already there, parallel there. But he must be a good person, must be appointed. It's a government uh, job <coughs> or a, a particular, particular CBA department job. But Supreme Court taken the role of uh, appointing authority under Article 142. He appointed Mr. Lalit, a senior counsel at the time. He gave a certificate 
you know, nice words. He gave a certificate. There is unanimity in appointing Lalit. Who is Lalit? Lalit is a man of unimpeachable integrity. Lalit is a man of unimpeachable integrity. And Lalit is a man of unquestionable competence. What a beautiful words. 2012 the judgment, 2014 he became a judge. Just We are all, he is a, he's a he's how to conduct the case, how to deal with the case, how to put a question to the uh, lawyers without hurting them. Dalit is an example. I, I just, I was inspired by just K.T. Thomas, Pandian, and third is Dalit. And that is a thing and all we have to follow. So easy to say anything by sitting in the bench. Easy to sing. What do you say? But that just should not uh, exhibit his knowledge. Clarification is one thing. Exhibiting your knowledge, exhibiting your intelligence, that's not important. So today's loss, tomorrow's loss, not not loss. Yesterday loss, tomorrow, today, no loss. That's it. Yesterday is a base paper. Today is a newspaper. Tomorrow is a question paper. What is the answer paper? <coughs> How to deal with you? Every circumstance, every situation, all of changes, changing, changing. Law is changing. That is the reason we have to understand the concept in mind. We go with the particular concept. But uh, judges will ask a question. They immediately we have to change. For that, you have put yourself a question and then answer. This is an important thing. The quite very, 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 very crucial pr pr profession, crucial profession, not doctor's profession, not engineering profession, but uh, advocate profession. Judges also, in fact, when he was uh, sitting as a judge at Madras, I go, four accused persons, three not two, appeal has come before us. And uh, we have gone through the matters and all open court. We have gone through. I told them, sir, out of four, only one person to be convicted. <coughs> because one punctured wound on the back. <coughs> I'll go through the again in my house. I'll come back. Next day, I just I went through and came back. Mister, I have decided that only one person is the culprit. He only stabbed on the back. But who is that one person? I am not able to decide. So I quit it all. <laughs> this uh, is our, our, our practical knowledge. We, we may be intelligence. But intelligence, the intelligence one thing, intelligence one thing, Wisdom is another thing. We understand. We understand. We know law. But out of law, law is a root. But justice is a fruit. The ends of justice is higher than the ends of law. Though the justice has got to be administered in accordance with law. Law is there. Law is just parts of the body. But the justice... <coughs> what, is the, what is the impact on the judge's judgment? You must understand. A judge must understand what is the impact of my judgment. If anything good comes, please do it. You can bend. The, you cannot break the law, but you can bend the law. That is a reason. How to conduct a lawyer profession is a very tension profession. And uh, you see, see the, all, the, all the lawyers, most of the lawyers are all bald head. Why? We are using the brain. <laughs> it doesn't mean that all the people who have got a gun no brains at all. But point is, every day learn. When, whenever the matter comes on, you sit there. Whenever the matter comes on Wednesday, you sit there from Monday. Watch the advocates, the judges' comments. What are our advocates, how to argue? How the judges getting angry on the particular government? Don't do that. There is a Four duties. One is your your duty to the client, your duty to the court, your duty to the client, or your counterpart, your duty to the society. The four C is important. 
one occasion i want to say one occasion one occasion where i got the lot good relief one husband wife wife father and mother they send a, the silver side that is pongal silver side pongal function silver side like karumbu rice other things the father husband says wife abusing wife you are fools your father and mother send the your uh, this things and all through a harijan dalit what is our caste your father and mother sincerely does then uh, he just uh, he blumbasted and immediately wife also got her visa. then wife also reacted then husband uh, pushed her Poured kerosene over her, set that. Went up. Then she was uh, immediately father-in-law and mother-in-law. That is husband, father and mother. They came and uh, put her to the hospital. Husband <coughs> came, went out. Hospital, she was to, she was to say, not uh, burning, not put up fire by the husband and all. Because the stove burst. So she gave a statement to the doctor at the time of admission. Then subsequently, her father and mother came. You sustained 90% of uh, burns injuries. We will not accept you. We will take care of you. Don't worry. But provided the condition, you must tell the police, you must tell the magistrate about your husband. Husband only put the, put the uh, set, set fire to you. Accepted, magistrate comes. Magistrate record, dying declaration, police came, statement, doctor came, statement, all the statement are there. Ten years punishment. 307, ten years punishment. After conviction, she filed an appeal. He filed an appeal before Supreme Court. At that time only I was a prosecutor and uh, resigned my job and uh, began the practice as a lawyer. Then accused comes and says, sir, this is a brief. You please argue the matter, final disposal. <coughs> you have got a good name among the judges. And please, sir. Then I, I, I went through the matter. I told the accused, Mr. This is not a case for acquittal. But I will try to reduce the sentence. I will try to ensure that sentence is reduced, 10 years reduced. But provided you must uh, comply with my condition. What is that? Any fees, any amount of fees I use, not that condition. How, mu how much of property you have got? 50 acres. You settle the 25 acres in, in, in your favor. Do that? He said, uh, yes. Then he quoted some Kural, Thirukural. Have you heard about Thirukural? Kappalat. Fine. Inna saidharai urutthar avar nana nandayam saidhivadal. That means, you please uh, settle the property, 25 acres, to in favor of uh, your wife and come here. In the mean, mean, meantime, matter came up. Our justice came, Nandrajan was there. I argued the matter. First, first, first order, first uh, case, I argued the matter. I, till then, I was the prosecutor. Stood up, my lord, this is not a case for acquittal. I said. What I felt, I said. This is a case for reduction of sentence. I have asked uh, my client to go and uh, settle the matter, settle the property in our favor. He will come back within one hour, one, 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 one week. Please adjourn the matter. He was very happy. Just Nadrajan, very happy. Just came Nadrajan, very happy. Because I was fair. <coughs> one week later, now husband come. Sir, I have settled the property. This is a document. Not only husband, wife also has come. Wife argues, wife tells me, uh, sir, sir, um, get an acquittal for, for him, sir. I only joined her, joined him now. I said, he cannot acquittal, cannot acquittal. We already said, we are going to argue for acquittal, the reduction of sentence for you. Then matter came up, my lord, as I promised, I am going to argue only on question of sentence. So, you lost me here, you Now the point is, Question sentence, both have joined now. Now he has taken care of your wife now. You will not do anything at all. Please, 
consider the question of self. Ten years can be reduced to one year or three years, three years, five years. Then Mr. K. Nadarajan said, Mr. Kappadivanayakam, you read the papers fully so that I can consider them. Then I argued the matter because first statement is Chaubas, uh, second statement, my state, police about But magistrate statement given to the magistrate is valuable. So I thought it will be conviction. Then uh, matter was over. Prosecutor also said it's a matter for conviction. Sentence can be reduced subject to law. So I was very sure that the sentence will be reduced. I came to the office evening. Uh, and uh, again she is crying. Who? Wife. Crying while setting fire crying. This crying is please save him. Then uh, said, Madam, Monday posted for judgment. Wait, pray for God. So that sentence will be, I think, certainly will be reduced. Don't worry. Go. Monday morning, first item. Then both the husband and wife standing. <coughs> Mister, your lawyer argued very well. But I don't want to reduce sentence. <coughs> what is it? Your lawyer has conducted the case very well, but I don't want to reduce sentence. Something peculiar. I was I I myself felt I am going to be convicted. Then he said, I have decided not to reduce sentence. I have decided to acquit you. <laughs> I myself <laughs> felt uh, shocked. What is it? Present surprise. I was very much... Uh, no, I thought my fair conduct have made uh, the judge to pass an order of good. I thought. Then both are prostrated before judge. No? I am very happy. Mr. Rasson, sir, don't hereafter, don't cause any harm to your wife. Or you give a undertaking? Yes, my lord. So, all the three people have been acquitted, including me. <laughs> <laughs> then I went to the went to the house, uh, office. At about 8 o'clock, all the three came, all the th two people came. Garland, fruits, with a cover. What is it? Garland, fruits, I can take it. Cover, already you are given fees and all. No, you are not a fees, it's for your purpose. Sometimes lawyers say, unless you get the fees and all, we will not send the order copy to you. Those things are there. <laughs> but these things and all, because I was a prosecutor, then I just... Uh, so I was uh, very strict in my... This. Then he said... Thank you, sir. Then went out. They went out. Within 10 minutes, she came alone. Sir, I want to tell you one thing, sir. I want to tell the truth. What truth? My husband did not set fire to me, sir. I was surprised. Then why? My husband abused my father, father and mother with abusing words. I could not control myself. I went to bathroom. I took a can the bags plastic bag containing the kerosene, hold myself and set fan. In the meantime, my husband went outside. So I was taken to the hospital only by father-in-law and mother-in-law. Only at their, at their uh, the insistence, I said, is only stove burst. Then my father and mother came, you please implicate my husband also. Why implicate him? So actually, sir, this is not a case for I, I, I have, I have not, I, I, I myself poured kerosene. I said that, that, that is how I felt. Not only your fair conduct, not only your intelligent way of putting victims, but truth triumphs. Why may I bellum? Un may jai The fact, truth will win. That's the case. That's the reason I am saying that 
Why? Other powers are there. 142 powers are there in our side. How to argue? How to argue? When to argue? How to? There is a saying in a doctor. Who is the best surgeon? Surgeon who knows how to take surgery. One. Two. When to surgery? Two. Number three. When not to take surgery? Like that. The best lawyer is one who knows how to argue. Who knows when not to argue? Who knows what to argue, what not to argue? That concept is there. They have got a powers. When, I, when, the, when, the, when the case is interested, they have got a powers. And uh, to do justice, to do complete justice, it is first in the hands of lawyer. They must be true to the, uh, true to the client. That is very important. Don't pretend as if you know everything at all. Please, read, read, read. If you study, 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 you will become steady. If you become steady, steady and all, you will become studious. That will ensure you success. Just give me a word of thanks, Mr. Please. You introduce yourself, just cover. That's it. Thank you. For me, it is a pleasure that I have got an opportunity to deliver the lot of thanks to you. And uh, seeing Sir deliver this lecture for me makes me very nostalgic because as a junior, I got a chance to appear before him when he was the presiding member of a very honourable tribunal oh. and that was also the time when there was a bar association formed of that particular tribunal, I was part of that particular function. So, and then when I have seen him practice over here and uh, interact with the juniors, share his experience on every single occasion with a brief or without brief <laughs> and ultimately the cherry on top of the cake was when I saw his uh, lecture which was given at the 150th. Uh, oh. So I did not know that Sir initially wanted to become an actor. <laughs> I was very happy to know. I have always thought that there are people who want to become a lawyer and then become a judge. Maybe they are destined to be so right from the beginning. But after listening to Sir, I know that there are a lot of people who are right at the top, but maybe at the beginning they wanted to be something else. And yet they are doing so well in the profession. So that makes me feel very happy to know that and I am very happy that Sir again has graced us today. Thank you so much. That was 142. Yeah. To say a few words about 142, extraordinary. Yeah. So uh, the 142, what do you want to do? Today's topic is how you... So this article 142 is one of the uh, powers... Complete justice. Complete justice which is something which only uh, this particular court has and it is used sparingly but whenever it has been used it has been used for a purpose to ensure that both the parties go home and nobody leaves without feeling that justice has been done and uh, I'm very happy that sir threw some lights from his personal experiences both as a judge and as an advocate in matters and especially this uh, the story that was narrated about the lady who has made certain confessions after the entire matter was over. It is very hard touching. Mm -hmm. yes. but these are insights that we will generally not get from the brief <coughs> in a matter. I am very thankful. And the point is, I was, uh, I was, uh, the impression is my fair contact and uh, fair things and all made the judges uh, to do that. I was under the impression. Yes. But real fact, it is what? <coughs> Because of our country confession. One goodness inspired the other goodness inspired her goodness to come and tell the truth. Come on, she wanted to tell me. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Kindly join for a cup of tea in the canteen. We can have extended uh, uh, session also. Yes, yes, sir. 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 Sir.